Good evening. <laughs> Afternoon, I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, I was just seeing if I was on the list, and I didn't know I would be next. <laughs> like, I wasn't ready, but okay. So first things first, as I always do whenever I get a microphone in front of my face, I love to give an honor to God who's ahead of my life. And without him, none of this would be possible. None of us would be here. Give an honor to yourselves. A round of applause to yourselves for coming out. Everyone who didn't find the robbery, so you know, come out. So um, I got a phone call this morning from Ms. Jolly, who works here at the um, Heritage House. And I really wasn't informed about this event, about this event, but um, I told her I'd definitely come out. You know, I always like to support, because whenever we do something, we want support. So it's imperative that we come out and support others in their endeavors. And, I, you know, go ahead, clap, give yourself. I do believe that unity is the cure for poverty. So the more collaborative efforts we put out there, the sooner that cure, you know, will be here at our front doors. Um, so I was looking at the flyer and it says, honor thy father and thy mother, salute to our roots. Um, and uh, quite naturally that goes straight to that um, first Bible verse, honor thy father and thy mother, that thy that, that days be long um, amongst the earth. And um, you know, even being, I want to just give y'all a little personal about myself. First things first, my name is Clifton Aaron Hinton. And I'm from out here, Cephalo Projects, Brownsville, Brooklyn. Yeah, give it up to Cephalo. <laughs> And um, I was born April 6, 1984, and my mother um, was no more than 13 years old when she had me, yeah. And um, so, and then right there, 84, y'all know what was going on in the world, uh, you know, that was the, you know, so I'm probably one of those, what you call an 80s baby. And I'm not ashamed to say it anymore, you know, I'm a crack baby, hey, you know, that was then, this is now, <laughs> you know. So I'm here, and I'm proud of who I am, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it hurts me, you know, to see sometimes that my mother hasn't changed in all of these 30 years. I'm 30 years old, just turned 30 last um, April. And, you know, but, you know, we gotta want the change, you know? Like, uh, I always ask people in the streets, like, what is it about, you know, that crack cocaine? What is it that make people do those things? Because if you notice, the youth nowadays, they use drugs, but they stay away from that for some reason. They learn something, <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know, they stay away from that. <laughs> But, you know, um, so people would say, well, you know, it's that first hit, you know, you, you're always trying to get back to that first hit. And I'm like, okay, so in other words, those are a bunch of high chasers. So, you know, we got a lot of high chasers in the world. But what I've learned, you know, and what I do now, I created my own youth organization. It's geared towards youth empowerment and community development. Our mission, our model, our goal, all the same. Save our youth, save our streets, squash the beef, and increase the peace. And that's not just in Brownsville, that's in every underserved community. Because a lot of our communities are not being served correctly. And those are issues that we all have. So uh, I got this 